To find the derivative of the cube root of x squared, we're going to rewrite it as a power, and then we can use the power rule. Beginning our work down here in blue, hopefully you recall that a cube root is the same as having a power of one third. So the cube root of x squared is the same as x squared, to the power of one third. But this can be simplified, x squared to the power of one third, we can just multiply those exponents together. This is the same as x to the two thirds. And at this point, we can evaluate the derivative by using the power rule, which tells us we'll need to bring that exponent down as a factor. So we're going to have two thirds in front as a factor, multiplied by x to the power of we need to reduce the power by one. The power was two thirds. We need to subtract one. Subtracting one is the same as subtracting three thirds. And so our new power is negative one third. So two thirds x to the negative one third. And that's the derivative. If you prefer to write it without a negative power, we could write it as two over three times the cube root of x. Bringing this down to the denominator makes the power positive one third, and of course one third power is the same as a cube root. So that's how to find the derivative of the cube root of x squared using the power rule. Go ahead and try this one yourself for practice, the derivative of the fifth root of x cubed. I'll put the solution on screen now. There is the answer. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.